welcome students in my new tutorial and today i'll be teaching you how to pass arguments to a macro so first of all what are arguments just to clear this topic firstly i'll go with the basic function for example if i want to add these numbers i used to go with the function sum and then bracket start and then i select the numbers and then bracket close now inside this i am using the cell address a1 to a5 simple colon is there in between now this a1 to a5 these are the cell addresses and these are the arguments so these arguments are passed to some function so function is sum and arguments are a1 to a5 i hope the concept of arguments is very much clear to you and you can differentiate what is function and what are arguments so how to pass arguments to a macro that means with the help of macro i am making a new function and how to pass the arguments so firstly i'll make one new macro that means a new function with the help of a macro so i'll go to tools macros organize macros open office basic so earlier also i told you that either i can use this standard module or i can use under using macro the name the same name uh, which i have used for saving a file by default it comes and under here also the standard is there module 1 is there and you could see here existing macros main is there name if that earlier i made in my previous tutorial so i want to make a new one so i can use what i'll do i'll click on edit here only if i'll do edit directly it will show me my previous functions which i have defined here so this time i have to make a function which allows me to pass the arguments so now i'll be making a function where i'll be passing the arguments so just for that i'll type here the same way earlier as i have typed function and i want to make a function to multiply two numbers so i'll give any meaningful name like multiply and then bracket start and then two variables i'll give like a comma b a variables are just the name given to a memory locations just to save the numbers which are passed as an arguments so i'll just press enter key and then i'll type here multiply bracket start bracket close is equal to a multiply by b and then end function so overall this is my function which i had made just now function multiply now i have to check it whether it's working or not whether the arguments which are passed to this function is working so let's see i'll minimize this no need to of it and i'll try here is equal to multiply and i'll be using this a1 and a2 bracket start a1 now one thing is very important here you have to put semicolon this simple colon i have not to put this one i have not to put this is been used in excel here i have to put semicolon and then a2 bracket closed enter and it's working i'll change it could see here it's working again i'll try is equal to multiply now this is my function now this multiply is a function bracket start now the arguments will be passed to this function and arguments i am using as a cell address for example a3 semicolon a4 or any any cell address bracket close so it's working this time i want to use fixed numbers so that also i can try 
मल्टीप्लाय ब्रैकेट स्टार्ट फोर सेमिकोलन फाइव so you see it's working so i am able to make one function where i can pass the arguments and it is giving me the result let's try some other function so here only i'll try to make adding of the numbers so i'll write here function adding here also i'll use uh, the arguments a b c three arguments i am taking adding now the same whatever the name i am giving here the same name should be here also adding bracket start bracket close is equal to a plus b plus c that is a add b add c and then and and function so let's try this one also so i'll write here adding now cell address is i am giving semicolon A two semicolon A three. You could see here it's giving me the result. That means it's working fine. And with the help of this tutorial, I'm able to teach you how you can pass your arguments to a self-made function, which you had made with the help of a macro. So just try that. Go go for a practice. And still, if you have any doubts, feel free to comment. So I am closing my tutorial. Bye bye. Take care.